If you own a Honda ADV 150, gear oil is something you may want to change one day. In this video, I'll describe what type of oil to use, how to drain and fill the gear oil, and some tools that'll make the job a little easier. Honda labels gear oil as the final reduction, according to the service manual. They suggest using the same oils in the engine, which is the Honda Pro HP4M 10W30. There's been a lot of discussion about the type of oil to use after I released my two videos on the different methods to change the oil. But you can read more about that. Go to the video right there and you can read under the comments everything that we've talked about as far as engine oil. For gear oil, my dealer uses this. Now this is a 10W40. Well, 10W30 is very difficult to find, so I'm just going to use what my dealer suggests for the gear oil, and that's the 10W40. The difference between the two is not much, and actually in the warmer climates here in Ohio, where it's at like 85 to 90 degrees all summer, the 10W40 I think would be ideal. You can find that oil at your local dealer, or I have a link below. I show all the specifications in the footage that come, so don't worry. Now Honda recommends changing the final reduction oil about every two years. I've read about every 10,000 miles in some forums and stuff. So I'm gonna do it like every other season because I don't ride too much, but if you guys are putting five to 10,000 miles on your bike, I would do it every season. Now, if you prefer to use another type of oil, that's fine. Just make sure that it meets or exceeds Honda's recommendations. So let's check out how easy this is. I always remove a dipstick before I drain anything just to prevent that vacuum back up just in case. It just allows oil to drain more freely in my opinion. Trying to do this with one hand was a little challenging. Next, you remove the final reduction oil drain bolt. This was on there pretty good. Took some muscle to remove it. It's a longer threaded bolt and it takes a while to remove it by hand. Allow the oil to drain completely. Oh, make sure you don't lose the washer. Clean off any oil residue and secure the drain bolt after all the oil has stopped draining. Now the final reduction oil capacity calls for 0.13 US quarts, which converts to 123 milliliters. CCs, which are cubic centimeters, and MLs, which are milliliters, are actually the same by volume. Since I couldn't find a gear oil in a 23 milliliter bottle like you see in some other countries, I needed a solution. To actually draw the oil from the bottle was a little challenging due to the thickness of the oil. This handy syringe that comes with tubing works perfectly. I have a link below to pick one of these up if you need one. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to measure 123 milliliters, but this works for me. So each mark on this syringe is 10 milliliters. So this was very close to the target 123. It looks like it's slightly over, but look, there was some small amount of oil left in the syringe when I was done, so it was nearly perfect. So replace the dipstick and seat it in place. Now I didn't tighten it all the way down, just a few turns. Then check the indicator marks on the dipstick for proper level. I mean, it's impossible to see this on the video, but the oil level was actually perfect. Trying to do any of this with one hand made it a lot more difficult. I actually found a fairly large metal shaving in the oil and what looked like the piece of grass or something. Now keep in mind, I changed my oil a lot sooner than I needed to just to kind of show the demonstration. So I hope this video was helpful and until next time, it's all about the journey. So in this video, I'll describe what type of oil to use, 
how so in this video I'll so in this video I'll just so in this video I'll describe so in this video I'll describe what type of oil to use how to drain and fill the gear oil and what the hell and oh tools <laughs>